Security forces have taken control of Podukudi Ripu East up to the A35 highway. Our representative Sujit Vidhan Patirana in a report said troops of the 53rd Division achieved this victory. The troops have entered Podukudi Ripu East up to the A35 highway. As a result, the LTTE had lost their main supply route. The troops stepped into the location following an intense battle. The LTTE had built massive defense bands and trenches. However, the troops of the 5th and 7th Gamunuheva regiments overcame these obstacles. Losing the A35 road after being dislodged from the Pudukudiripu town is a severe blow to the LTT terrorists. The terrorists had been unleashing attacks on the troops from within the safe zone. But the government troops did not launch any attacks on the terrorists who had been remaining within this zone. The LTTE is now confined only to 9 square kilometers other than the safe zone. Task Force 8 of the 53rd Division achieved this victory. The terrorists are left with only 25 square kilometers, including the safe zone. Troops have surrounded the area from three fronts. The security forces are engaged in heavy battles to take control of this area. World media has applauded the statement made by TNA parliamentarian Vinoda Radhalingam praising government's efforts for the welfare of civilians in transitional villages. After visiting the Khadragamapuram transitional village in Vaunia, he highly acclaimed the government's efforts to meet the needs of the civilians who had taken shelter there. He commented that these civilians have now received an opportunity to live without fear and suspicion. The Hindu, a leading Indian newspaper, had praised the TNA MP statement. Another 22,000 houses 